In this video, I'll show you how to add social media links to your Squarespace website. There are lots of places you can add these. Some folks like to have them in the header, other people like them in the footer, or maybe on your contact page. And I'll show you how to add those in all three places. Hi, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator. If you are following along with my Squarespace pre-launch checklist, welcome back. If you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below so you can grab it. All right, we're back in my scribe template for authors. And one of the things that is part of this template on the demo, you can see that there are social links turned on in the header. Now they are on here. Why aren't they showing up? It's because we haven't actually added any social links yet to this template. So how do you find where you should add in your social links? The easiest thing to do because Squarespace keeps changing around this menu is to hit the forward slash key on your keyboard. That is the same key as the question mark key. Once you're here, you can start searching for social links. So we're going to go ahead and click social links. And you can see here that you can drop in your social links to Squarespace. And there are lots of options here. And when we drop in a link, Squarespace will automatically generate an icon for us. And then I'll show you how to style it. And I'll also show you how to add these to other places on your website. All right, let's drop in Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And when I hit X out of this, you'll see that these are now added to my header. Now, depending on your header style, they may get added in different places, but this actually works fine for me. What if I want them to look a little different? If I click edit and go into social links and click the pencil icon, there is a design tab. And here in the header, we have the options of the size of the icon and how the border looks. You can make them solid or outline. I prefer no border and I feel like that size looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and exit. Now, what if we want to add our social icons somewhere else? Let's hop over to the contact page and they are already here in this template. But again, if they weren't, what we would do is click add block. We're going to start typing social links. It's gonna appear here for us. We can drag them wherever we would like them to appear on this page. I like them here and we've got some options. We can align them top, middle or bottom of this container that they're in. I'm going to leave them centered top to bottom. I also want them to the left. That's a different menu. So let's go ahead and click edit, hop into design and now I can align them all left. I can change the size. It's different than it worked in the header because now we have alignment here. And we also have sizes that are extra small to extra large instead of by pixels. Hopefully Squarespace is working to make this a more consistent experience. But again, you can change the border style. Here we have knockout, outline, or solid. I like no border. I think this looks more modern and I'm gonna go large here. All right, let's go ahead and click save and let's check it on mobile view. It looks like they are in the right place. So yay for that. We don't have to do any finagling there. And you can also add these into your footer. So let me go ahead and click edit site footer here. Again, let's pretend that they weren't there already. I'm going to add a social links block. And we do have to style it in every place, but the nice thing is that we don't have to add our links again. They only have to get added in one place. And this one, I'm gonna keep it aligned top to bottom as well, and then click the pencil icon, go to design, align it left, and let's make them large here. Looks good to me. I'm getting the blue dot in mobile view. Let's hop over and I want to give them just a little more space here. So I'm going to drag them down a hair. This looks pretty tight to me here. So I'm going to actually drag that down. It's going to open up a little more space there. Not a ton, just enough so it feels like it can breathe and hit save. Let's double check it on desktop. Still looks good there and we can exit out. So things to keep in mind, you can only get these same social icons in the same order 
across your website. So I couldn't have just Instagram in one place and Instagram and YouTube somewhere else. I also can't have them in different orders. So what if we want to order them? You go in and click edit, move them up and down. And you can see it moved the order here and in the header and in the footer. So keep that in mind as well. So there are some limitations, but overall it's a really easy ad. And I think it's a great way to help people find you across platforms. If you did find this helpful, please give the video a like or leave a comment below as that helps other people discover my videos. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.